I'm going to show you two ways to export a still frame from DaVinci Resolve. And while the second method includes a couple of extra steps, it comes with some amazing hidden benefits. Now, one quick thing to remember before you export your still. Whichever of these methods you use, the resolution of the image will depend on the resolution of your timeline. If you're working with 4K footage on a HD timeline, the still that you create will only be HD sized. If you want an image the same size as your original footage, you'll need to set your timeline resolution to match that larger size. Okay, with that out of the way, the first method works on the cut, edit, and color pages. Simply park your playhead on the frame you want to export, and in the top menu, go to File, Export, Current Frame as Still. You'll be asked where you want to save the file and what file type you want to use. It's going to automatically name it the same name as your timeline, along with the time code of the frame you're exporting. You can change that to whatever you want. Then hit export and you're done. If this is something you do a lot, instead of navigating to the menu each time, you can assign a keyboard shortcut. To do that, open the keyboard customization panel in the top menu, or press Option Command K on your keyboard. In the command section, type current frame followed by a space into the search bar. Drill down a little to find the command, select the keystroke column next to the command so it gets a red outline, and then type in the keystroke of your choice. Then under the three dot menu, you can save a new keyboard preset. Okay, now for the much more powerful option two. This only exists on the color page. First, hover your mouse over the viewer, right click and select grab still, or use the shortcut option command G. If you're wondering where it's gone, open the gallery panel by hitting the button on the top left and hit the icon to reveal your list of albums. By default, you'll have a stills album and a power grade album. When you press grab still, this adds a still to whatever album you had opened in the gallery. There's a big difference between still albums and power grade albums, but we'll get to that in a minute. Then right click on the thumbnail that was created and click export. Again, you'll be given the choice of format and where you want to save the file. And then you can name the file and click export. Now, here are the big benefits of this method. First, if you go to the location where you saved the still, you'll actually find two files, the still in whatever format you chose and a DRX file, which is a DaVinci Resolve exchange file. This extra file stores all the grading information that you would apply to this piece of footage. That means you can use this as a way of saving a grade so you can apply it to other shots. You can preview what the grade would look like if you applied it to another shot by turning on live preview right here and hovering the mouse over the still. You can compare the still to other footage on your timeline, which is very helpful when you're trying to match shots. Click this image wipe icon. This will give you a few different options for how the still is overlaid on top of your footage. You can select one of the options here on the top of the viewer, and you can hold down the left button of your mouse and drag the mouse around your viewer to reposition how the still is shown. Another big benefit is using a function called Match Reference Frame Wipe. And shout out to my friend Darren Mostyn for showing me this trick. Sometimes when you're working on a lot of shots, you might find there's something you need to fix, but you don't want to deal with it this second because you're in a rhythm and you don't want to get distracted. What you can do is grab a still, name it something useful like remove logo or whatever it is you need to fix and carry on working. Then when you're done with your grade, you can go back to your still, right click and select Match Reference Frame Wipe. That will take you back to the exact frame you saved the still from and you can get to work fixing whatever it was you noticed before. Now remember when I said there was a big difference between a stills album and a power grade album? If you save a still into a power grade album, that still will be available in any other project in the project library you're currently working in. So if there's a grade you did that you want to use again in other jobs, or maybe you made a node tree you want to use, save it as a power grade, and when you open another project, it'll be right there waiting for you. If you want to save a grade and use it in a different project library, or you want to send it to somebody else, export the still in question, and then in the other project, you just need to right click in an empty spot in the gallery and select import. Navigate to the DRX file, select it, and press import. Now that still is available for you to use in your project. Now this method of using stills as presets is actually something I use for color management. If you have no idea what that is, or you want me to make a video about it, let me know in the comments below. Personally, I like to use nodes for color management rather than turning it on in my project settings. I just prefer being able to see everything that's happening to my footage, rather than things happening under the hood and out of sight. So I have a set of pre-saved nodes with color space transform effects applied that I use for all the common camera types I deal with here. They get me from a color camera space into a uniform working color space with DaVinci Wide Gamut, DaVinci Intermediate. And then a couple that go from that working color space into a couple of different flavors of Rec. 709, depending on my final deliverable or what monitor I'm looking at. I'll leave a link in the description to a free download of all of them so you can use them in your own projects. Once you download and unzip the folder, you'll see a collection of stills and DRX files. In a power grade gallery, right click and select import. Select all the DRX files and import them. From there, select the camera type you're converting from, as well as the Rec. 709 conversion, 
and you'll have color management set up in no time. There are so many more tips I want to share with you, including ones like this. So I hope you'll consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss out on any of the videos I have planned for you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.